Okay, so it is December 30th and I am working on the premise of this movie. Um, I don't know if this is gonna go anywhere. My sister gave me the idea for this yesterday and I'm really excited about it because she had the idea of like intentionally like go like across the country to film something which would be so fun. I don't know if this is actually gonna happen because that seems kind of far-fetched. I'm writing out the outline right now um, just to see like if it's even worth pursuing, you know, and then I'm gonna figure it out from there. Right now I haven't propose the idea to my parents or anything, but I think it'd be really fun. So after realizing it was kind of a big dream and maybe not meant for this movie to go travel, I gave up on it for all of January and really had no intentions of picking it back up, which was honestly kind of a struggle in itself because I'm the kind of person who, if I start something, I have to complete it. It was kind of hard to like tell myself like, it's okay to give up on this idea, like it's fine. But at the same time, everywhere I looked, there was something that pertained to this movie and I just, I could not get it out of my head even though I really wanted to. Okay, so today is February 1st and last night I stayed up until I believe like 2.30 in the morning. I was just watching like script writing videos on YouTube and it, they were really fascinating and it got me out of my creative block and I am going to write the script for this movie and I don't know, I, I gave up on it for I guess like a month or so because I just, it was a big project and it honestly kind of scared me. But then yesterday I have gotten really inspired for it. I think before why I was so hesitant to make this movie was because I felt like it was just really overwhelming big project like I let perfectionism get a hold of me in that sense like I realized like just take it one step at a time you can edit something that's terrible but you can't edit something that's not there so just spit something out even if it's terrible but then you can edit it and make it better but you can't make something better if it's not there Hello, hello! So, today is day 90 of working on Pursuit of the Chase. I am working on props today. I've sculpted this many rocks for the rock wall, um, and I have been collecting cardboard. <laughs> I am hoping to have all of the props and everything ready to be starting filming um, within this next week. So, we will see. That's my goal. <laughs> but yeah, so I, without further ado, I'm going to paint. <laughs> I am making the uh, like mopping cart now, and so I have this tea box here, um, and I'm thinking I'm gonna like just open up the side and have it be something like this and like cut it and make it make it work. <laughs> um, I made this mop a couple days ago. This is the finished product. It took me a little over two hours, which is entirely too long. <laughs> A good three hours later, they're done. I just found this massive brush. It's gigantic. I'm gonna use it. I just finished the rock wall. It is gigantic. It's so cool. I am so happy with the way it turned out. I really did not think it was gonna be this cool. I think I might, whenever I film with it, might actually have like the center be bent more. It's hard because I don't wanna like, it's heavy now, so like it doesn't stand up super great on its own, but it's kind of fun. It's really cool. <laughs> I'm excited to film with it, it's gonna be really awesome. And yesterday I built the harnesses. Um, so like, I'm gonna have to figure out like what to hang them on, but like, it's gonna be interesting because they're gonna actually have to be like on the wall. And I think like maybe maybe it won't hold them. Never mind. <laughs> I'm gonna have to glue that one back. Um Yeah, I don't know how I'm gonna have to figure out how to make them stay without it breaking them off, because not a whole lot of weight is able to be held on these things. But it's pretty cool. Y'all, I just built the rock climbing set and it is so big it takes up my entire room. Um, <laughs> so yeah, this is kind of like a little set tour, I guess. I don't know, I'm about to start filming. It's taken me four hours to get to this place of filming. <laughs> um, so yeah, uh, this is basically the set. 
And then I painted this backdrop, this window, I did kind of like what I did for like the colorful movie, or I think that's what I called it. So yeah, I did that kind of same effect where like I painted a background, and like obviously it's not perfect, it's, <laughs> it's not very great, um, but it's like blurry in the background, so hopefully it won't matter too bad. Let me see if I can show you just how big this set is, like, like my room's a mess because it's like, takes up the entire room. Hello, hello, hello. It is 3.52 in the morning, and I just finished filming all the scenes in the Rockwall set. Okay, I am going to film on location in a river tributary thing on a bike trail, like off-roading basically. And it's going to be hopefully not very long, but <laughs> it's like almost a seven page scene. So I'm kind of not really excited to film it, but it is going to be fun to film on location. So after getting to the spot that my dad and I had previously like scouted out for the cliff scene, we realized that we couldn't actually get to it because the bridge we had to cross was actually boarded up because it wasn't stable or something. So our plans got a little bit messed up. So we actually spent the following like three or four hours looking for a new cliff location to film at, um, and which was actually kind of hard, but we ended up finding the perfect place on the side of the road actually. Um, it's like a weird big ditch or something. I don't really even know, but it was actually really pretty and um, it made the perfect cliff. I just did that. Okay, so I was moving pictures from my SD card to um, this terabyte drive thing because I was I'm filming a bunch of behind the scenes videos as I'm going on my SD card because like I might have my camera ready when I'm filming, so like I've just been doing it like that. So I have both pictures for this movie and behind the scenes footage, right? So I've been moving it all over into this folder. So all of these behind the scenes videos and whatnot are here, right? So that's what I was doing. I deleted everything off of my SD card thinking, oh, I'm done. But no, I just deleted like a week's worth of footage. A week's worth of footage. Everything that I filmed in that forest for like four hours is gone. <sighs> how, how? Like, <sighs> that was like five scenes of the movie. Down the drain. So then I took a couple days and kind of reassessed whether or not I wanted to continue on with this movie because it was really discouraging losing those five scenes and knowing I was going to have to refilm them. So in the end I did end up continuing and what I had to refilm actually turned out way better than what I had previously filmed. So I'm actually pretty grateful that I had deleted that even though that in the moment it was kind of rough. Throughout this whole process I was especially excited to film the final scene which is when Finley's book is at the book convention. I was excited to film this scene in particular because I had the idea of incorporating the Fear Stand Down convention um, that that whole story was based upon. I was going to mix the two together and make it actually the same convention. Um, so if you look closely, you can actually see the Read All About It booth and Kira um, talking to people like she did in the Fear Stand Down movie that I made last year. Kind of crazy. I just took pictures with Finley and Piper and they're cute with the balloons. So it's kind of fun. Okay. I just finished filming um, the whole movie, so I I can't believe I, I yeah, <laughs> crazy. Okay, I'm recording live now. I don't have a whole lot of time. I'm gonna do it in voice memos because my earbud microphone is better than my laptop microphone. <laughs> I win! I'm so excited for the day when you're a world-renowned author. You are making us a very proud family. Wait, what? <laughs> Talk about pressure. To, like, pant. Keep going! They're gaining on us! We gotta keep running! You guys, I just finished editing. It's saving right now. I can't believe that it's done. Like, what? <laughs> Oh my goodness, guys. I, okay, so the premiere ended like, I don't know, like 10 minutes ago. You guys are so kind. Like, I don't know. Like, I literally have not stopped smiling since like this thing uploaded. Like, oh my goodness. But seriously, you guys like have been so encouraging throughout this entire process. And it has meant like 
the world to me. So thank you so, so much, like each and every one of you. Whether you know it or not, you've made a really big impact in my life and joined me. Um, how important, even just a like a small message of encouragement is. So thank you so much. I, wow, yeah, that, that, I don't know. This is crazy. You guys are amazing. Thank you so much. And yeah, see you next time.